Hey guys, today Tyler and I are going to show you probably one of the best safety exercises I've ever done. It's super helpful. So our goal is to place the cue ball and object ball on the opposite rails. We don't want to leave any simple offensive shot for our opponent. We are going to alternate attempts, playing in doubles, teamwork today. And our goal is to run 10 in a row minimum. So let's see how we can do. I also attached a spin diagram for you guys, so you can actually see which spin we're putting in every ball, so you know, you can learn from it. And also I have the dotted line which shows the trajectory of the cue ball and the object ball after each shot. So you know, make sure you set up those shots, you practice them every day and you're gonna just get better and better. On this shot you gotta keep it as simple as possible, just bank the one ball and leave it as close as possible to the side rail using just topspin. On this shot I want to cut the one ball into the long rail and my goal is to put it as close as possible to the second diamond on the top rail. On this kind of shot I don't really need to worry about the cue ball, just focus on the one ball. This is a very good shot guys, you want to kick it from the back with a lot of inside spin and send it into the side rail and all the way to the bottom rail. Check it out. Just like that. This one is pretty simple, just gonna make sure you check the angle and hit it not too hard, not too soft in order to control the one ball and the cue ball. You don't want to hit it too hard because then you're gonna lift position for the side pocket. On this shot, Tyler is going to thin the one into the side rail and let the cue ball float two rails and leave it on this side of the table. Once again, on this shot, you don't really have to worry about the cue ball because naturally it's going to stay on this side of the table. The goal is to control the one ball on shots like this. Here I'm going to make sure I control the cue ball and the one ball once again. Played with top right and played it with very good speed and didn't leave any obvious offensive shot. So it is considered a good safety. I really like the shot that Tyler is playing. He decided to keep it as simple as possible. You actually gonna make sure you check the angle, how thin you wanna hit the one in order to send it towards the middle of the top rail. And here's our 10. Let's see how far we can go. This one is very similar to the one that I explained before. You're just gonna keep it as simple as possible, trying to control the cue ball and the one ball. Very speed sensitive shot, make sure you don't crush it because if you hit it too hard, obviously you're going to leave the open shot. Here, Tyler is just going to bank the one into the side rail, just like that. On this one, I got left with a challenging shot. I wasn't sure what I'm going to do and the fireplace was on the way. So, you know, I decided to go three rails with the one ball and just make sure I don't scratch with the cue ball. So as long as I focus on the one ball, I should be fine. Just like that. I think Tyler thinks it was a good shot. So that's all good. And we continue our run. Once again, this is a pretty standard shot. Make sure you control the one ball really well. Don't hit it too hard and just top spin. Don't overcomplicate it. And Tyler left me in a very funny spot, so the wall was on the way in our basement, so I had to actually put the shaft of my playing cue on the jump cue butt in order to create a shorter cue. So yeah, Tyler was joking, saying it's a weapon of choice. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Feeling super grateful having the pool table in the basement, so we don't have to go to the pool room every day. Here it was a little bit too short, of course I wanted to make it more perfect, but we decided to keep our run because, of course, <laughs> we had wall on the way. Here Tyler decides to bank the one three rails and leave it on the bottom rail. Really good speed control here, guys. Perfect. So 
right now I'm left with a kind of funny shot because I actually have to play it with bottom right in order to drag the cue ball. So I'm going to play it with draw in order to keep the cue ball from traveling too far. So see how the cue ball slows down? This is the effect of the bottom spin. Here Tyler wants to play a simple save, cut the one ball into the side rail and send it all the way to the top rail. But as you can see, he hit it a little bit too close to the side pocket, which is a little too thin. And he left an open shot. So our run was over, 17 balls. Super proud of ourselves because honestly, it's a challenging one. Thank you for watching. I hope that you're going to use this one in your daily practice. Please click the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos in future.